host of one of my favorite podcasts uh, that sometimes I'm even lucky enough to write for, which is really, really awesome. I love it when I get to do that. Uh, he's the co-host of the Dollop Podcast. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Dave Anthony. Dave, how's it going, man? Hello. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. So Good to see um, you. Let's start with, uh, I know it's been a few weeks, but I haven't uh, spoken to you since it's happened. Uh, I kind of just wanted to get your take from the midterms. Was there anything that surprised you? Anything you're optimistic about? What, what's, what's the Dave Anthony assessment? I mean, I thought, they, I thought they'd get beat a little more. Um, I mean, they, they did. They, I guess they kind of lost the way I thought they would. Like, I didn't, I, for some reason, people thought they were going to get cleaned in the house. And I don't know, I... Uh, like they lost, like I don't, they were acting like they didn't, but you know, you, even if you're, even if you think you're not going to lose, uh, well, then it's, you know, great. Or if you think you're going to lose and you lose, that's not a, that's actually not a victory. Um, so <laughs> we didn't lose as bad. Like if you're, like if, you're a, if you're like, I ran and you go to play uh, England in the world cup and you lose, you're like, yeah, we we lost. It wasn't, we thought we were going to lose and then we lost. And that's what happened to the Democrats. They didn't lose the Senate, but I, I never, the Senate always seemed to be, you know, like a toss up. So they didn't lose it. Mm -hmm. um, so that went, that went as expected. And then they lost the house, um, which they're very excited about. <laughs> so um, I, I just kind of stared at it all and I don't watch, uh, mainstream news. Like I, the only time I watch uh, CNN or MSNBC is um, to just see what the idiots are saying during something like this. Mm -hmm. And man, I turned it on and they were just doing cartwheels and saying, this means Biden has to run again in 2024. Oh this is God. such a big victory for Biden. It's like, it literally has absolutely nothing to do with Biden. The people on the other side are complete psychopath uh, fascists. So people don't want to vote for them. And their only choice in a lot of, a lot of cases is a really bad Democrat. So right. they chose the bad Democrat. It's not a, it's not a big victory for Biden. I, I just hear that. And I'm just like, do anything you can to not have him run again. He can't fucking run again. Do you think they're going to run him again though? Yeah, I, now yeah, I think they I will. I, 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 that was just watching the narrative on NBC. You, MSNBC, you can see what's the Democrat spin going to be from this election, and that's the spin. Like Joe, Joe Biden is had an amazing victory, and it's like that's not what happened <laughs> at all. In the <laughs> and when he beat Trump, that wasn't what happened. It was just not Trump. Oh, this totally. Is the same thing. It, this is the same thing. It's like not Lake, not all these crazy, you know. Republicans, that was it. You were just choosing not them. Well, that and I think another big thing was that he uh, I, I think like Roe v. Wade was just such like on mm -hmm. the minds of so many voters. So yeah. right after their uh, win, that was actually a loss. The first thing Biden said was, yeah, by the way, we're not going to do anything about that. Yeah, you can't Thanks. do that. <laughs> Sorry. The thing we were talking about, it's ah, <laughs> we can't do? do anything about it. He already we'll used it again everyone. for the next election. So that'll be convenient. Exactly. Exactly. Keep voting and we might be able to do something. Mr. Reach across the aisle can't get one Republican, can't. apparently nothing and he, he you know he did the pot thing that was just bullshit and yeah. and he did the uh he did the the loans you know student loans and that was just nonsense that was bullshit. yeah like everyone knew it was gonna be overturned because the way he did it and today he sent out letters saying he can't do it and <laughs> uh and that's that so it's they're literally they should just change their name to betrayal because they're they are the party of betrayal. They should just do that, and the Republicans will be fascist, and they'll be betrayal, and then we can all. Well, they're just—they're the Washington generals of of politics. Like they're just like they're not actually trying to win. They're not actually trying to govern. They're. they're I, I actually of... I disagree. I think they're really? trying to win. I think they're really fucking bad. I I think they don't know how to govern or how to do anything. They they want to hang out with and make phone calls to rich donors. Right. They want to chat. They want to go to basketball games with rich donors and sit in the suite. They want to do all this shit, but they want to win. Like they want to be in charge. Well, they they want to win as far as like. Well, let me put it this way. I would say priority one is let's keep the donors happy, 
And then priority two yes. is if we can win while keeping the donors happy, just for appearance sake, great. But as long as the gravy train keeps rolling, we're fine. I don't look. I think if you're talking about against the left, yes, but I think they want to beat Republicans. So mm. uh, very much so. I think they very much. That's just that's just inherent instinct. I just don't. I, I think that people don't want to really say they are this stupid and this <laughs> bad at everything that they are because if you say they're they're not trying to win you're kind of giving them an excuse and i think they're really i think they're really dumb and bad i think they're a tremendously pathetic party who are really incapable of doing anything like they They've also they put themselves that. in a place. They put themselves into a place where they they have to keep the donors happy and they have to keep the voters happy. And it's it's literally like they always like it's a big tent. And and the response is it shouldn't be. That's the worst way. That's the worst thing you can have in a political party is a giant tent. So you have socialists and capitalists in a tent. How's that going? It's not a thing. It does like so in the side of our tent we have tons of fighting and everybody hates each other. That's our party. <laughs> Like, okay, that's a great tent. And then, and then you're just like, why is your party like this? Well, have you seen the other guys? What are you going to do? Go over so there? <laughs> they're monsters. You're like, oh, okay, so I'll stay in the tent with all the fighting instead of the cage where they eat you. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. I think we're drinking the same water. Do you have the caffeine? The caffeine yeah, the one? caffeine one. Yeah. This is the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. They are pretty dope. Because it's not, you're not drinking a, co a Coke with all the sugar in it, which just makes, it always, it sh tons of sugar has always kind of made me out of whack. So once they came up with this, I was like, oh, this is, this is it. Yeah. This is the jam. You, you get caffeine and it's also like a nice bubbly water. Have you ever had, they, yeah. uh, they make a black cherry coffee flavored one. Have you ever had that a one? Black cherry coffee? Yeah, dude. I have not. I have not seen that one. I would, oh, I dude, would you gotta. That. I forget which brand makes that because my, my wife always picks it up. But I'll, I'll, I'll find out. And I'll text it to you. Th those are it my sounds, favorite. And that sounds like they're just getting close. Now they're just getting back to coffee when they're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though because it, it totally. If, if you don't just want a straight up cup of, cup of coffee, which sometimes I just don't want that, it gives yeah. you like, like kind of like a nice little like coffee tinge, but it's still like just bubbly water and it's yeah that yeah. that's my favorite um but yeah these yeah. are pretty good too i like these they are so uh i want to talk a little bit about la specifically though because there's a couple things and, and we try not to get too la centric on this show because it's not an la centric show which by the way folks smash that like button and please do leave a super chat i will get to those at the end um but I think there's a few things that are going on in L.A. right now that, that I think kind of warrant some national attention. But uh, but first, I want to just talk broadly and, and ask you generally, like, like, was there anything in L.A. that kind of stuck out to you? Were there some things that you were a little happy about? How you feel about Karen Bass? Like, Ugh. I mean, <laughs> it's a fair response. Yeah, uh, she's just such a disappointment. Like, she's always been, you know, a Democrat, but she did the tack to the center crap. Yeah. That, you know, she left a lot of, like, a lot of people, uh, a lot of a lot of black, uh, specifically women, I noticed, um, uh, in politics who have been working towards, you know, racial justice and, and um, BLM stuff and, and bail uh, reform she she literally stopped talking to them and they had been friends for mm. these people had friends with her for 20 some odd years in politics she just iced them out so that gives a pretty good indication of what she's gonna do and and who she who she's cozying up to right so she's cozying up to probably developers and and that that's yeah. the area which is always always the problem in la is developers so not you know look it's better than caruso caruso well yeah that's obviously. what i was just about to say i'm like for that very reason i was a little relieved when she won just because of yeah. what the alternative was because yeah mean, but here we are here we are again my wife is like so my choice is between hillary and trump and i'm like yeah basically that's kind pretty of much yeah no that's pretty much to. what it was it, yeah but i mean i gotta say i was pretty for me personally Kenneth Bahia's victory, like, dude, I actually sat down right. and, and did the math of, on this. 
So for me personally, and maybe this, maybe this is the same case for you, actually. This was the first time in my life, like in as long as I've been on this planet, where somebody I supported from the beginning, i.e. like the yeah. primary, won. That's never happened to me before in my life, ever. It <laughs> never happened to me. Uh, so I had that happen with, locally, Nithya. Nithya, okay. Uh, a, a couple of years ago, Hugo, mm -hmm. uh, this time, and also and also uh, uh, him, Ken, Ken, the guy we're talking about. So you got um, three, man. You're, you're crushing it. So I got it. three. I've gotten you three. Got three. It's very, very interesting to get. I Like, I've gotten on board right at the beginning with all those people um you know i think people should understand it's not going to happen nationally you're gonna this is where you can win your battles locally right. and you can totally take over the city councils and then just drive the rich people crazy well that's the thing man i mean people ignore local politics so much and you always have to point out you know who doesn't ignore local politics developers like at all <laughs> because they know they know what they yeah. can do. They probably they don't even bother voting uh, nationally half the time, but they don't yeah. miss the local election. They know what they can ever, do. Ever. <laughs> ever. They never do. And they, yeah, and they run everything. That's why everything's so bad in cities. It's the developers. But so I wanted to show people something. And then what's your take, before we get into Kenneth specifically, what's your take on everything that's going on with Kevin DeLeon and, uh, and the rest of those folks involved there. Well, they're uh, they're completely corrupt and in bed with all the developers. Um, what's her name? Nira uh, Nuri. Nuri. Uh, yeah, uh, she's the one. She's the one that got ousted for being super yes. the most the most racist of the three out of all of them. Uh, yeah, so uh, she had no choice because once like Biden came out and the governor came out, like your whole party is turned against you. Now, De Leon is a trip, though, right? So that yeah, guy... he won't go. So here's here. I want people to check this out. So for those of you who don't remember, there was an incident where there was uh, some racist audio that leaked between Kevin De Leon and Nuri Martinez, uh, and uh, Kevin De Leon still has not stepped down, and they're literally shutting down all city council meetings. Here's footage mm -hmm. from a city council meeting today, where, by the way, they're voting to give the police even more money. That's one of the things on the agenda. Uh, <laughs> and there's riot cops in city hall, folks. And there's people yelling. This They're literally holding local government hostage. Like, Kevin yeah, I mean, DeLeon that is looks literally... Like, like, that looks like out of a science fiction movie. Right. I mean, it really does. It looks like a dystopian science fiction film. Also, because the background looks like it's from the 60s when it was probably built. But <laughs> yeah, it looks it's just, it's just crazy to watch. You're like, oh, so you're just going to keep doing the thing that's really terrible. OK, he's and, holding and the city hostage like he won't he, step down. So they're protesting every meeting, which is great. I love yeah. to see it. I'm like power to them. And like it's awesome, but it's just like this one dude is literally like he won't step down because he's getting his salary. That's exactly it. He's getting his salary. Like everybody knows what's going on. He like he'll lose his house or whatever the thing is. Like he can't <laughs> go. Like he's a guy who's like, I I need my money for the my kids go to school and the, the house. That's all it is. He doesn't give a shit about any of this stuff. Well, he doesn't yeah, then, he, He's a terrible. He he's just one of those guys that when he came in, you're like, will he be a little bit better than he? And you're like, nope, he's as bad as all the rest of them. He only yeah. Hurts there was always something about him that was off, man. Like yeah. like when he when he did the set it run of like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying this. You guy. know what? It came down to him and Feinstein. I was like, much rather have him than Feinstein. Sure. Yeah. Between those two. Um. Yeah, because that's then now you're like a Trump. Uh, like a uh, like like she's basically Yet again, Trump. In here my, we are. In my book um so yeah so it's it, it's hard to watch i i still i still like would have, i think i did vote for him when it was him and feinstein but uh i know, think i left it blank but i supported someone else in the primary yeah there was like, a there was a lefty. there were three lefties Kathy, Kathy, uh yeah there was yeah. one left woman who had the the lead the le left needs to stop having three lefties and get the fuck out just that, that the was, best, the, yeah get out like stop it they need a real it's really just 
hard to watch. I watch it and I'm like, are you one of you CIA? Like, how is this? How are you doing something so dumb? That you're there's taking there's a the chance left. that yeah someone yeah, is. they could be like, they totally chance. could be yeah no strategy wise we, we we definitely could use a little work but but here's why mm. I really wanted to bring up Kenneth for you know like 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 for a national thing here it is amazing what he pulled off first of all he, he's he's going to yeah. be a city controller not the sexiest mm -hmm. position in the world but no. he freaking made it sexy and yeah he made it really interesting. He made it really interesting, and he has managed to get more votes than any other candidate who ran locally. He has the most votes. He has more votes than Karen Bass does. He has more votes than Rick Caruso does, who spent one hundred million dollars on his campaign. And he's he's on he's on track to get about a half million votes when everything's counted. He might reach that point. And he's I mean, a he thirty-two got, year old he guy. The, he got the support of the times which is crazy yeah so it's like i don't i don't know maybe they just thought like well this position doesn't matter so we can let them have one here because i don't know why they didn't just go for the what was his name uh paul cortez or some cord cork corkian or something like that yeah something like I, that I, um but uh but yeah they they didn't choose him and he's been around la politics forever so he must have made a lot of people mad during his career or because they always go with the guy that has been there forever so it's very weird because kenneth can i don't think maybe they don't think he can do a lot of damage but i think just based on he put out a tweet today that was like this is how much money is going to the cops and everything else and you're like well that's terrible like so he's just a he's gonna be a constant source of information that's just going so this is where your money's going and it's really bad and it's just gonna make people upset because they're not going to do anything. I don't think they understand th how much of a problem this will be for them. Because you can't have a guy constantly pointing out how you're misappropriating money and not have people get mad at you. 